WWE's chief content officer, Paul Triple H Levesque, spoke to the media at a press conference following Saturday's Fastlane pay-per-view. Among the topics he discussed were Jade Cargill, Edge's WWE departure, the rise of the LA Knight, the run that John Cena is currently on, plus the business notes from Fastlane. Let's kick things off with Jade Cargill. Jade Cargill made her first appearance as a member of the WWE roster at Saturday's Fastlane event. Jade, a free agent acquisition from AEW, made her debut in a backstage segment at the conclusion of the Fastlane pre-show on Saturday. The former TBS champion was shown arriving in a chauffeured SUV, exiting the vehicle, then shaking hands with Triple H. As the two walked in the backstage area of the Gainbridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, Indiana. It was believed that Jade's main roster debut was imminent, with reports going back several weeks that, quote, high priority main roster creative plans were being worked on for the former AEW star. WWE announced Jade signing to a multi year deal with the company on September 26, with Jade doing a mainstream media tour with outlets such as ESPN following her acquisition. Her signing was the first high profile acquisition by WWE after it was acquired by Endeavor and merged with UFC as part of the TKO Group Holdings. This is what Triple H had to say in regards to Jade. Quote, her ability and her rise has been incredibly quick. This is a different system. This is a different level of everything. What doesn't exist elsewhere exists here. That opportunity for her to learn at a different level and get to a different place, that's just the way it is. She's ready for it all. She's ready to dig in. She's ready to work her ass off. But the thing you don't want to do is you don't want to put somebody in a position that they're sort of ready for. You want to make sure they're damn ready for it. No matter what happens, she's going to knock it out of the park. When is that? Not sure. Where is she going to go? Not sure. I look forward to strapping the rocket on her. Triple H also spoke about Edge leaving WWE and signing with AEW, saying, The time was right for him. The time was right for us. I think he had an amazing career and an amazing send-off here. I think he felt he had done what there was to do. He also added that he sent Edge a text message telling him he was proud and happy for him. Triple H had this to say on the rise of LA Knight. Hard to imagine a year ago he was Max Dupree. We're all pushing with him. We're all pushing him up the hill too. And in regards to John Cena, Triple H said, To see John's growth, but he always comes back to this, he doesn't need to be here. He could be doing a lot of other things maybe like resting or sleeping i don't know he doesn't seem to do either one of those but he does it because he loves it in regards to the business side of fast lane he said it was the highest grossing event they have ever done in the city of indianapolis which included 14,529 fans in other fast lane news the unlikely duo of cody rhodes and jay uso are now the tag team champions the undisputed WWE Tag Team titles changed hands with Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso defeating Finn Balor and Damian Priest at Fastlane. A miscommunication between Priest and JD McDonough led to Judgment Day losing the match. This is the first championship Cody has held since returning to WWE. For Jay, it's the only title reign he's ever had with someone other than his twin brother, Jimmy. Carlito is also back in the WWE. The former Intercontinental United States and Tag Team Champion returned to the company at the show as the LWO's mystery partner in a six-man tag team match against Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits. Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar of the LWO began the trios match with a two-on-three disadvantage, but Carlito made a late entrance for the bout and picked up the win for his team with a backstabber on Montez Ford. PW Insider and Fightful are among outlets who have reported that Carlito has been signed to the company for some months and was awaiting creative plans for a debut. CM Punk intends to return to WWE. There has been a lot of talk of late regarding the possibility of CM Punk returning to the company he was with from 2005 until the 2014 Royal Rumble. Our own Dave Meltzer has addressed what he's heard from WWE WWE and those close to CM Punk in the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Meltzer wrote, Regarding CM Punk, there is obviously tons of talk regarding him returning. There have been rumors that it's happening, but those in WWE have only said that no deal is completed, and those close to Punk have told us that it is his intention to return, and the two sides are in talks. 
WWE will be in Punk's hometown of Chicago on November 25th for Survivor Series. Dave Meltzer noted it would make sense for CM Punk to return on that show. Despite being fired on September 2nd, CM Punk continued to be the top merchandise seller for AEW last month, according to estimates by WrestleNomics. He sold more than any other wrestler on the roster, although AEW branded merchandise, not affiliated with a specific wrestler, sold more. And on to some AEW collision news. Ricky Starks and Big Bill are the new AEW Tag Team Champions. Ricky Starks and Big Bill defeated FTR in the open of Saturday's collision. The story of the match had Big Bill chokeslam Cash Wheeler through a table, putting him out of the match. That allowed Starks to tag in and spear Dax Hardwood to win the titles for the first time. FTR had held the titles for over 180 days, defeating the Guns back on the April 5th edition of Dynamite. They had recently successfully defended the tag team titles against the Young Bucks at All In back in August, and more recently at AEW Wrestle Dream last week and defeating Ozzy Open. On the Saturday before Wrestle Dream, Ricky Starks won an all-star eight-man tag team match pinning FTR. A match for the tag team titles was then set for this week's show. Along with the win on Saturday, Starks also picked up a win at Wrestle Dream, defeating Wheeler Yuta. And speaking of FTR, Cash Wheeler is dealing with an injury. Cash Wheeler's status was addressed by our own Brian Alvarez and Dave Meltzer on the Wrestling Observer Radio, adding that he was injured and did not know how long FTR would be out of action for. And speaking of injuries, Adam Cole provided an injury update during a Twitch stream on Thursday. Adam Cole broke his ankle during a run-in on AEW Dynamite Grand Slam on September 20th, but says it's not clear exactly how the injury occurred. He told followers of his Twitch channel that the injury will require two surgeries and involve eight screws and a plate being inserted into his ankle. And in other news, Mariah May is expected to join AEW. The 25-year-old finished up with stardom last weekend and then teased she had a flight to catch on social media, spurring rumors she could appear at AEW Wrestle Dream. While May wasn't on the show, it's believed she is headed to AEW eventually. May's status was addressed by our own Dave Meltzer in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, saying, There was a lot of talk she would be going to Seattle, but she actually flew back home to the UK. She is expected in AEW, possibly being part of a group with Tony Storm. All right, that's a wrap for this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to F4W online for more videos just like this one and lots more.